Good morning, virtual farmers. Rise and shine. What a beautiful morning it is. And welcome back to Fernie Forge. I'm Nick, and today's episode is nothing short of a golden harvest. Our cornfield is ripe for the picking, and we're diving headfirst into the satisfying rhythm of harvesting. But that's not all, folks. We're not stopping at the harvest, oh no. And we're taking the ploughs and cultivators to our fields, getting them ready for the next chapter in our farming saga. From hum of the harvester to the turn of the plough. This episode is all about transformation. We'll cultivate the land, prepare for the next seeding and set the stage for a bountiful future on our virtual farm. So buckle up for a farming adventure like no other. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join me as we continue to cultivate and grow in Farming Simulator. This journey is just getting started. So, first things first, we need to start looking at different harvesters. Now, harvesters are quite expensive, and I don't really want to be wasting too much money on our harvester. However, it is something we're going to need on a recurring basis every year. Let's have a quick look into the sales, and it appears that there isn't anything for us this month. But I probably should have been keeping an eye on that throughout the year or throughout the last few months to see if any harvesters did come up. However, we're just going to purchase one brand new and then we don't have to worry about repairs and stuff like that. Well, we will have to, but to begin with, we won't. Okay, so we, we are just going to purchase the cheapest one we can find, which is a Nova 330. I don't like leasing things, but under this circumstance, I'm purchasing the harvester. However, the header, we aren't going to purchase because we're only going to be doing corn this once. I think for our next farm, we're probably going to do, I don't know, sugar beets or something like that. Something a little bit more profitable. I would like to do canola, but we are past the planting stage for canola. So we are going to... We're probably going to be doing some soybeans, I reckon, because I think soybeans are one of the most profitable within the game. Okay, so we're only going to need this for this one harvest, so I'm not going to purchase it. I am going to lease this one. So let's have a look at the crop calendar. We could see that corn is harvested today, clearly, and for our next farm, we're going to be doing soybeans, which needs to be planted around April or May time. So that does give us a bit of a buffer to get things sorted around our farm, maybe even invest in some bees or some greenhouses. Now I do need a trailer, but I'll have a look at one of those in a moment, and for now we will just start harvesting. And once we need to start moving our crops, we will go and purchase a trailer of some form. Now I'm not sure which one we should purchase, because we are going to have to keep this for a few months until the peak selling season for corn. Because obviously we want to maximise our profits and corn isn't the most profitable of products to harvest. I wonder if we can do hay from the corn stalks. We might actually be able to do some hay and do some baling as well. Who knows? We'll see where this takes us. This is actually my first time harvesting corn. I am quite new to the game. So don't take anything I say as the sole truth because I could potentially be wrong on a bunch of stuff. Come on, Mr. Transit Van, you go past. Thank you very much. We're going to do our farm lengthways just so then we don't have to keep turning. We can literally just set ourselves forward and make the minimal amount of turns for our grand harvest. Going back to our tool, there is a straw swath, so maybe we can bail up some of this later on as well. Ooh, that's a bit of a light shift. We've got the sun peeking through. No, we don't. Okay, right now let's get this done as fast as we can so we're not wasting any precious time or money. Okay, time is money at the end of the day. There seems to be quite a decent yield from the corn. I've already got a thousand litres of it and I think that we might actually be able to fill up one of the larger trailers. Now I could keep it at one of the train stations in one of theirs but we're going to need a trailer of some form anyway so it makes sense to purchase maybe even a larger one than normal and there we have it that is our first load for our farm and this tank is 4,900 litres. Let's have a quick look on the map and just see how much space we are going to need for our farm. So if we go into this mode, we can see that we are about a quarter through. Yeah, it's about a quarter. So I think in total, we're going to get around 20,000 litres of corn. And with that being the case, we are going to go for this guy and go for the maximum upgrade, which has this extension on it. That should do it. 20,000 pounds. We are going to buy this because we are going to keep it for a long time. 
Let's get our tractor ready and then go and pick up our trailer. Now, thinking about it, maybe we should actually get some contracts on the go whilst we are completing our farm. Because if we hire a worker, it will require zero work from us and we can maximise our profits. Okay, let's get our tractor over here and we can enable the straw swath. Uh, not straw swath, the pipe. And we can fill up our trailer. I am hoping that this trailer has enough capacity for the whole farm. I guess we will see when the time comes. But whilst we're doing that, we will check some contracts, see what's out there. How cultivating might be worth doing because of the money involved. Remember to remind me to not do ploughing. So yeah, I think we're going to do this. It's only £4,000, but it's money to be made, isn't it? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this guy off with AI for now to continue with our farming over here just whilst I get the AI ready with their current jobs. Now, I don't think the AI will take too long with this contract. Ooh. I'm pulling a wheelie there. Ooh, this feels weird. It's a bit it's a bit faster than my other tractor, so I'm not quite used to going this fast. I don't really want to pay someone to drive the tractor either, because they seem to enjoy getting stuck, and I don't want them to get stuck on the journey there, because it's just going to cost me more money in labour. You can do this farm, and I can focus on mine. I will just let him finish this row, just so I don't disrupt his flow. There we go. And then we can focus on our farm, whilst we've got AI focusing on our contract. That's probably going to be the only contract we can do this month, because I don't want to be doing any ploughing contracts, just because of how long they take. However, I do need to plough my own farm, so it, mm, it potentially could be worth doing that. So already we're, we're down to £300,000, and we need to figure out a way of making our money back. Obviously, seventy-five grand for a harvester is a lot of money, especially when it's going to be used once a year. Now, I probably should have hired at least this, but if I did lease it, then I'd make zero profit on the harvest, pretty much. So, better being safe than sorry in this scenario. Okay, so that's our second load done, and we can go and collect our harvest. Now, it would be cool if this did look like corn. Oh, it does look like corn. I was expecting them to be, like, full corns, but it looks like it's ready shredded corn. So rather than corns on the cobs, we've just got corn grain. Right to you, and that's that one. And we can get back to harvesting. Whilst we're waiting for him to do that, we will actually check to see when the best times are for selling these crops. So, July or January. Now, we're not too far from January. We've only got two or three months. So, that might be the perfect time for us to sell our crops. That way, we haven't got crops stuck in our trailer for too long. And we can make use of that sooner than later. Yeah, at this point, I do I do think that some form of passive income might be a good idea. Just because we've got a few months of waiting with no generalised income coming in. Now, we don't have fertilising contracts or anything like that we can take advantage of. So, we do need to think about what's our next move here. Because we need to make profit somewhere and we can't just be making profit at certain times of the year. We need to be doing it all year round to have a functional farm. Now we've got 300 grand, that is enough to purchase three solar panels, which are probably the most profitable of the electric generation. We could do greenhouses, however, take up quite a bit of room greenhouses do, and they do require quite minimal effort in all honesty. It's not that much effort, but I would need a tank of some form, just so then I can fill them up with water. That's three loads which have gone into there. Now, obviously, that one wasn't quite full, but it pretty much was. We were 13 litres off being full. Whilst I'm actually heading back here, I will grab these three bits of corn here. It's not going to be much. It's literally, yeah, three litres. <laughs> However, every little helps when it comes to this farm. And we need to maximise our profits wherever we can. When it comes to ploughing our field, um, do we, does it even need ploughing? I'm going to assume it does. 
I am going to hire AI to do it because I hate ploughing. It takes so long to do a plough. So AI will be in charge of that. I'd like to know just how far he is through the contract. 58%. So we should be on our last run of our farm after this. Lots of money to be made. We've got a lot of ploughing to do. We need to also extend our farm a little tiny bit just to maximise the potential of our farm. go okay that's our farm fully harvested i will just return this as soon as i can there we go because i don't want to hold on to that any longer than i need perfect i'll just part this up somewhere i'm thinking that maybe i should get a shed of some form just to hold my tools for now and somewhere to put my harvester now obviously my harvester isn't going to get much more use throughout the year but it's a it's an investment this harvester is and that's how i'm seeing it we filled first 90 percent of the way if we hadn't to put that extension on it we actually wouldn't have filled this up so it's a good job that we did yeah i'm gonna go for this cheap cedar we don't need nothing extravagant and i know that three meters isn't much but based on how much money i'm going to be making it does make sense to go for the cheapest one we only have a small farm anyway so we'll just go for that and with our tractor we can actually use that i'm probably going to need a roller or a stone picker there we go i would like that one but we may be stuck with this i really don't like stone picking but you've got to do it otherwise you can destroy your, your equipment so we will get a roller too where is all our money is going no uh, I am purchasing these. I probably shouldn't, but if I'd start leasing them, then there's just going to be no profit to be made. We don't need that. We do need seeds, though. So, a thousand litres, that should be more than enough for what we need. But I think that is everything we're going to need to get our farm ready for the next harvest. Based on how much equipment we've got now, I do actually think it's probably best if we do stick a, a shed down of some form form i think something like this will do i'm thinking we can possibly pop this down here just there you know for ten thousand pounds it's not bad and what we can do is we can actually do a quick tidy up and stick our equipment into the sheds there we go and then we will get our stone picker later on okay let's have a quick look at these contracts Harvesting, not interested in, again. Unless you're right next to the grain elevator, I'm not actually interested. I think I'm just going to do these three. I might regret this, but it's worth a try, isn't it? Right, so this is going to field 16, and we'll do this one. That's at field 46. And then one more is this one. And then you're going to go to field 37 which is right next to us and whilst these guys are doing this we can focus on our farm i can start plowing this field just here so what we are going to do is we are going to expand our farm just a little bit Right, okay, you're doing field 16. I nearly forgot about these guys. I'm thinking if we go up to there... Wait, will you just go past me? It is a good question if it does need liming or not. I'm hoping it doesn't, but if it does, then I'm going to be a little bit frustrated. Oh, it says that the roads have been ploughed, but that's a bit weird. Oh, yeah, it's going to need liming. 
Damn it. I think we're making pretty good progress here. Now I'm going to check on the other farmers. See how they're doing. Uh, field 16 is nearly complete. Field 46 is about 60%. And he seems to be missing a bunch, but we don't like tree lines, I've noticed. Oh, trust it start raining. Mm, can you carry on ploughing whilst it rains? I'm guessing we can. I don't like that. I don't like how it's overlapped onto the road because clearly we can't be going onto the road now, can we? Field 16 is 90% complete. Let's just have a look. 73, 89 and 91%. So these two will be done around the same time. I wouldn't mind getting into animals at some point as well because that's something I haven't done just yet. So you guys will be the first to witness me creating an animal farm at some point during the series. We really need this rain to, um, to die off so then we can do some liming. Why has he missed spots? It's like little tiny spots he's missed. That's a little bit frustrating. I'm going to have to go over that. Let's clean up this farm now. There we go. And I don't think I need to unfold it. I think that's about right. And I can pop you in here. And just there will be... will do. Now I need to get a stone picker. Right, make sure we borrow the items. This guy's going to be ploughing for the rest of the evening. Right, where are we going with you? Field 34. I'm just going to set you off. There you go, mate. And then my other contract's finished. So let's collect that money. Now hopefully, this makes more money than I want. Well, hopefully it makes enough money in general. Okay, so... Let's get this guy. Let's lease him. I would buy it, but it's 45 grand for something I'm only going to do once every three years. Probably not worth purchasing. I need to do my stone picking first. It's not going to charge me, is it? Because I'm not working with it, so it shouldn't charge me at all. So I'll just go grab my stone picker. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. Just let me pick up some stones, man. I'm going to have to do the edges myself, aren't I? I do own the field. Ooh. You and I, we're going to fall out. Right, I've decided I'm going to get him to do it horizontally. Let's have a look in the fields. And he's not going to be able to pick up those stones there, which is quite frustrating. Well, that's odd. It's an odd way of approaching it, mate. Trying to think what else can I do to make some money. So a bit of advice, a bit of friendly advice, guys. Don't expand your farm up closer to other farms unless you're just doing an extra row. Don't do what I've done because you can't access it. And don't go over roads because the game seems to think that you can plough roads but you visibly can't plough roads. Oh what are you doing? Why are you starting from there? Oof I tell you. This person is the bane of my life. Why aren't you picking stones in correct places love? Right, okay then guys, let's check to see how many stones we've missed and how much the AI missed as well because the AI hasn't been very reliable with um, stone picking this field, unfortunately. So it's saying that a bunch of it's cultivated. Now I know that when you do this, it does cultivate it too, but let's have a look at the next one and see what's just going on. See, if you look over here, there's a lot of stones still although i've gone down there a couple of times so we are going to have to go over some bits a couple of times like i have been doing to just fully pick the stones out of my field i 
I've pretty much got all of the field now. There's just some little bits which I haven't fully cultivated. I'm not really too fussed about that because next is liming. I know that we only need to lime the edges but I am just going to lime the whole field and then we can actually go ahead and start planting then and then obviously fertilizing. Maybe we should fertilize first. I'm thinking we're going to lime and then we're going to fertilize because once we plant our crops we'll need to roll them and then we'll fertilize them again. So it is the best idea to fertilize straight after liming because we're going to need two layers of fertilizer. Okay, off to the shop anyway. Let's see what we've got going for us. And we're going to buy a couple of thousand litres of lime. Okay, now let's get to liming. There we go, our field is fully limed and what we can do now is we can actually return the fertilizer spreader because we don't need it no more. And next is seeding, I believe. Hold on, did we say we were going to fertilize first? Yeah, we'll fertilize before we seed and then we can roll it straight after, then fertilize once more. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do it on different days or not, but it'll be fine. Uh, let's just check to see what we are going to be planting. So we are going to be doing soybeans, but we are going to have to wait a few months to actually do those. So I'm going to I'm going to fertilize anyway, and then we can move on to tomorrow. Maybe do a couple of contracts. Okay, so we are fully fertilized let's have a quick look at the map and see what that's saying so yeah we've got some parts where it's been double fertilized what we can do is we can actually wait a couple of months now before we go ahead and seed thinking about it maybe we should actually put something down which will produce some money now i am thinking about maybe placing down one of these solar panels technically i can afford two but I think one should be more than enough. So I'm thinking we could place one there. I'd, I would like to place two of them, but I feel like placing two of them would be a little bit of a waste because it says that we make nine grand a month, but I don't think that is accurate. That's like, that's the maximum it can make a month based on the sunlight it gets. And we're gonna need to save some money ready for next season. So I think just the one will do for now. So it'll be interesting to see just how much profit I'm going to be making. See, it's just said I made 2,000 odd pounds today. Um, so yeah, December we made 2,232 pounds, which isn't much, I know, but it's something. Okay, I think actually we can sell our corn. Yes, we can. We could sell our corn today. Okay, so where's the best place for me to sell? Mm, so Le Jardin. Oh, the grain elevator. Oh, they are on the way down, so I think others have got the same idea. So we do need to quickly get our grain to the grain elevator. And there we go. Let's check the prices. Still £480 per thousand per litres. And let's see how much we made last season. Oh. Money, money, money. Well, just short of £10,000. That's not too bad. With them sort of profit margins, it's going to take about 10 years to purchase another piece of land. So we do need to start thinking about how we can start making more money much faster because... £9,700 isn't much. Now, I know that soybeans go for a much higher price. However, it's only going to double how much profit we're going to make. And that's just an estimate. So we need to remember that at our peak, we sold them at 9700 And then when it comes to the beans, we'll have to check to see just how profitable they are too. Because it may actually be worth planting something else next season. But we'll see because going to experiment with the different farms obviously we have this one plot of land and so long as we're not wasting any of our farm then we should be able to maximize our profits from it right, let's pop our thing in there 
we have got one, two, three more months until we can go ahead and plant them. Whilst it's winter time, I'm going to make sure that I put my tractor away so it doesn't get rusty. There we go. Another month has passed by. That's another £2,000 made from our solar panels. Let's just have a look at our finances. So the last two months we made £2,000 from our solar panels, which isn't great. It's going to take a couple of years just to get my money back from that. However, £2,000 a month is fine. It covers my loan, which I should probably start repaying actually. So I'm going to pay off ten grand, uh, maybe twenty grand actually, and we can pay off that loan steadily. Right. Okay. So back to sleep we go. Seems like we've had a better month from our solar panel, which is great to see. Uh, just all sewing, I'm guessing. And I think actually now we can go ahead and do our planting soybeans. No, we've still got one month to go before we can start planting our soybeans. Okay, let's go to sleep. Okay, so we've got some decent fertilising contracts. Please tell me I got them. Are you kidding me? Did I not get any of them? Now I'm a little bit confused. I definitely accepted them contracts, but for some reason, it hasn't awarded them to me. Never mind, we'll just focus on our fields for today. Alright, so we've got 600 litres of soybeans in here. And we can start planting just around about here, I believe. Okay, so I've got the AI working on this, just for now, just to see just how well they will go with about planting all of this. Well, it looks like our AI is officially bodged up. Um, we were doing alright up until just now, so it's not quite the end of the world. I will just finish up this last line along here. Let's so say we've got a fully seeded plot now. Happy days. And we can now focus on either fertilising or rolling it. I think we're going to fertilise it first and then roll it after. I don't think it quite matters which way you do things. Alright, I'll start around here. And there we go, and we have fertilised our field now, it's fully fertilised. We can get to rolling it, and then it's all set, ready to be harvested later on this year. I wonder what's going on here. Why is it when the AI is working, traffic stops in awkward places, but other than that, though, they're just not bothered. Like, if I'm here, they really don't care about blocking me. If they care about blocking the AI, I'm just going to do this last row manually. I think my tractor's in need of a good clean, in all honesty. Righty-o, here we go, we can put this away. Now let's check on here. Uh, so we have missed a couple of bits. Wait, do they need rolling? Yes, they do. I'm not going to bother with that, I'm not going to pull it back out just for those little tiny bits. Now the AI probably should have dealt with that a little bit better, but it's AI, what can you expect from it? Should I place another solar panel or not? Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. Uh, we'll just check to see if we can get any decent fertilising contracts today. And let's make sure that it actually allows me to do the contracts because that was quite frustrating last month where I wanted to do a bunch of contracts and it wouldn't let me. Accept, accept, and accept. Did I accept that one? No. There we go. 
Damn, these fertilising contracts disappear very fast. And there you have it, virtual farmers. Our fields are now a sympathy of readiness. Thanks to some meticulous ploughing, some rock picking, liming, fertilising, seeding, second round of fertilising and finally rolling the fields for that perfect touch. It's been a busy day here on Fernie Forge and our farm is now prepped and primed for the next stages of our agricultural journey. Huge thanks to all of you who joined in for this farming marathon. Your support keeps the tractors rolling. Now, as the sun sets on our fields, I'm excited for what's next. And join me in the next episode as we dive into the next phase of our virtual farming adventure. But if you did enjoy today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and if you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a moment on Fernie Forge. Until then, happy farming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.